Hey, everybody. All right, praise God. Uh, good to see everybody tonight. Uh, hey, everybody, praise God. God bless you, Sister Renee. And everybody, go ahead and swipe your car, your uh, your phones and um, your your uh, screens there, and go ahead and bite somebody in. And uh, we're we're gonna get ready to get on started. And I'm not gonna hold you long here tonight. Let's get into the Word of God. Praise God. Uh, Facebook people are coming on, and Periscope are, com are coming on, and then we have people on our teleconference teleconference line here this evening. And uh, the Lord is just going to do us real good tonight. Amen? Amen. I think I want to get this a little periscope. I think that's straight. Okay. All right. Let's get to work here tonight. Praise God. Father, we thank you and we give you glory and praise tonight for another session of word empowerment. I give you praise, glory, and honor for the entrance of your word. Now, Father, I thank you, Lord God, for the transformation power of the anointing be visible and be intimate right now as we get ready to go into your word. Father, I thank you that the word of God will change lives tonight. And I pray for those that will be joining in. I thank you, Lord God, that the word will transform everyone's life. I thank you, Lord God, that we will hear your word and we will respond to your word and live by your word. And I thank you, Lord God, none of me, all of you, that is my prayer. In the name of Jesus, speak to our hearts and we give your name the glory and the praise and all God's people say amen. Amen. All right, let's get to work here tonight. It's another Tuesday night and um, I just enjoy uh, coming before you these Tuesday nights and uh, speaking the word of God to you and uh, you hearing the word of God, you getting the faith that you need. Now, on these Tuesday nights, I am just pushed in my spirit just to stay on faith. So, um these Tuesday nights are just becoming a faith builders uh, session, faith builders class. So let's get our faith built here tonight and uh, hear what God has to say, because I believe that faith answers every need, every situation in your life. You get faith anytime you come on faith, anytime you come on the level of faith, anytime you draw virtue from the word of God on faith. I'm telling you, supernatural, powerful things happen in your life as you come online, as you uh, as you attach God's word, as you come to an agreement of God's word. Anytime you locate God's word on any subject matter in your life, I'm telling you, virtue is drawn. And when you draw virtue from the word of God, it produces results in your life. And that's what I believe you're going to receive here tonight as we talk about the uh, subject of faith even more, because I believe faith, uh, faith is the instance. I don't know. Um, I don't care what we teach. I keep telling y'all as much as I teach, we teach a whole lot of things in the Bible from the Bible, but I will always come back to faith because I believe that faith is the key issue for all the manifestations of anything that you will ever believe God for in your entire life. So let's get to it. Now, as I get started here tonight, I want to read you a prophecy uh, from uh, Reverend K Kenneth E. Hagen. We call him, you know, Dad Hagen, uh, whatever. He prophesied this uh, back in October 19, 1980. He prophesied this, and um, this will go along with what I need to talk to you all about here tonight. Listen to this prophecy from... Um, from uh, Reverend, uh, Reverend W. Uh, Hagen. It says, do not become discouraged because the truth does not dawn on your spirits all at once. But keep meditating on that which is written. And the more you meditate on that which is said, as one shall speak under the anointing and the inspiration of the spirit, then little by little, it will become real to you. And as on the inside of you, in your spirit, in your inner man, it takes shape and form, it will reshape your own spirit until you'll no longer be a weakling spiritually, but you shall become strong. Listen to this, people God, And be able to stand and do the works of the Lord has called you into and rule and reign and dominate in life 
as a king by Jesus Christ. So do not turn away even because you do not fully understand or see. But let your mind be open and your spirit be receptive and say thou, O blessed Holy Spirit, unveil the truth unto my spirit that I may stand in the fullness of the provision of my father. For he is my father, I will love him and he will love me. And so you will become that which he has ordained that you should become and rise up to the level of the full privileges and rights and authority and dominion of a son of God. Rejoice and be glad, he says here, and speak forth the word of faith. Speak unto those circumstances that have you bound and command them to leave and so you shall be loosed. Speak unto the storm that appears on the horizon of your life and say, peace be still. And, they, and there will be what? Calm. Learn what is yours and act upon it and it shall become yours in reality. Thank the Lord, Lord Jesus. This is a prophecy from, um, from Reverend uh, Kenneth, Kenneth Hagen, and uh, it speaks volumes to the word of faith that I'm gonna talk about here tonight. I want you all to understand, as you hear the word of God, Sunday after Sunday, week after week, you're gonna to have to come to a place of just believing God's word, standing on the word of God, and many things that you are taught, many things that you hear, it may, you may not even understand it all at once, but you just stay on that word. I want to talk about the importance of staying on the word, staying in faith, re rehearsing the word, meditating the word tonight. And I'm telling you, as you stay in the word and hear the word of God and understand every word that is preached to you, maybe you don't say, oh, that ain't for me. That word did, did, today wasn't for me. Uh, yes, it is for you. Stand on that word. Meditate that word internalize that word. And I'm telling you, as you get a good understanding of the word and stand on this word, I'm telling you the word of God will prove itself all the time in your life. Now, you always hear me say this. I always tell you all this. There is enough faith in the word of God to produce results for itself. Why do I teach the word of faith the way I do? Because I believe that as you engender and you encounter faith, faith answers every issue, every situation in your entire life. It takes faith. It takes faith. Faith is an extraordinary walk. Faith talks about an extraordinary God that will do extraordinary things for extraordinary people. And when you come to a place of building that faith, building your faith, I'm telling you there's nothing. Mark 9, 23. All things are possible to him that what believe. That's why we live a hitch-free life. That's why we live a hitch-free life in our finances, in our physical bodies, in our spirit life, every area of our life. I, I was telling people Sunday, man, I don't worry about a thing. There is nothing in this world that causes me to miss sleep at night. That will wake me up and say, oh, you, you got to work. No, I don't worry about a thing, man, because I walk by what faith. Now, let's get to it here tonight. It says in uh, Hebrews 11, Hebrews 11 and 6. Turn there real quickly. I'm not going to keep you long here tonight. Hebrews 11 and 6. And you know Hebrews 1, 11 and 1 says, Now faith is the substance of things what hope for, the evidence of things what not seen. So faith is substance. Faith is the seed that we're going to talk about tonight. Whatever you believe in God for, faith must become the seed. Faith must become the substance of that thing. What do I hold on to till I see the visible manifestation? You hold on to the word of God because the word of God is your seed. As you stand on the word of God and stand on that seed, things materialize in your life. And you don't let it go until you see what you're standing there for. Hebrews 11 and 6 says, but without faith, it is what impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he what is. You got to believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently what seek him. So faith is not a fun fair. Faith is a what warfare. The Bible said, fight the good fight of what faith to stay in what 
faith. Your fight is to stay in what faith. Now, we're not fighting to get the victory. We're not fighting to win wars. We're not fighting to get something. We fight to stay in what faith. As you stay in faith, faith. Now, John says, uh, John says, now faith is our what? Victory. Even our faith is our what? Victory. So we fight to stay in what? Faith. We fight to keep believing God, standing on the promises of God, absolute trust in God. That's the theme of our life. That's the theme of our what? Existence. We fight to stay in what? Faith. You're believing God for healing? Well, you fight to stay in faith. In the word of God, Matthew 8 and 17, who says he bore my sicknesses and he carried my sorrows and with his stripes I'm healed. You fight to stay in that. You fight to stay on that ramp. You fight to, uh, you, the, the enemy is going to come at you. The enemy is going to uh, uh, try you. The enemy is going to test you. The enemy is going to try to talk you out of it. After you have believed tonight, while I'm talking tonight, many of you are going to receive your healing right now. What do you do after the victory? You fight to stay in it. Praise God. Now, I just left um, uh, Hart, Hartford, Hartford, uh, Connecticut, Middletown, nicest people in the world. You talk with Southern hospitality, hospitality uh, they got it. Well, that Thursday night, I ministered on, uh, on um, walking in the supernatural. And a healing anointing. I've been praying for this, praying about this for the last few years. And in particular, the Holy Spirit had me to pray about this for the last uh, two months. Really digging into the nine gifts of the Holy Spirit. Praying that it all, every last one of them, be fluent in my life. Well, that anointing showed up, praise God. Showed up Thursday night and people were healed until we left Saturday afternoon. Reports were just coming in. The bishop was coming to me. Pastor, you wouldn't believe this. <laughs> so many people, they were bringing people to me, uh, giving me their testimonies of how God healed them on Thursday night. And we believe God for that. I'm telling you, your sign, your miracle is on the right. It's happening for you right now. As you, as I speak the word of God, receive your healing for whatever, whatever. Uh, nothing too big for God. Nothing too hard for God. Just go ahead and receive it. Now, what do you do after you have received from God. You got to stay on faith. You got you to fight the good fight of faith to stay in what faith. This faith has to be, it is contagious. It is inspiring. It is, uh, it is deep faith. You stay in faith, believe in God, trust in God, and re in receptive mode of everything that you believe in God for. Amen? Amen? Now, what, 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 what I got to talk to y'all about here tonight is this. What is faith? Faith is substance. What is faith? Substance. What is faith? Substance. So if I say I'm believing God for something, I go in the word of God and I find that seed, I find that promise, I find that thing that I'm looking for, I find that situation, I find whatever that is close to or is the issue that I'm going dealing with, going with, that scripture becomes my what seed. It becomes my what title deed. Someone says, oh, I'm believing God. Oh, I'm believing God for X, Y, and Z. I'm going to ask you, where's your seed? Because nothing, you will never get harvest without a what? A seed. You've got to have the word of God on things. Now I'm saying, uh, just pray for me. You don't need to know my business. Just pray for me. Well, I, that prayer ain't going nowhere because the Bible says, he says, any two touch and agree Touch and read on the thing. You got to know exactly what we what what we're praying for. And not now. I want to know your business, but I got We've got to touch the thing. The thing has to be has to agree with what the word of God. Healing, financial miracle, whatever it is, we've got to find it in the scripture. So faith is substance. Faith is the what the word of God. I've got to have what the word of God. You believe in God for healing? Find the scripture. Isaiah fifty three and five. Matthew 8 and 17, 1 Peter 2 and 24. You believe in God for financial miracle? Well, get it. Find, find Philippians 4 and 19. You've got to have what seed? Marit marital issues? Go, go, go find it. Go find in Proverbs. F find it. Find the answer. Find the seed. Faith is what substance. And that substance, that word is the thing that you hold on to. The word. My God, you hold on to that word. You hold on to that one scripture. 
Matthew 8 and 17, when he bore my sicknesses and he carried my sorrow, I'm going to hold on to that word, praise God. If I don't have nothing else, I don't care how long it takes for the visible on that thing. I'm just going to stand on what you said, praise God, until it manifests. And it will manifest. Dad Higgins says, I'm reading his prophecy. He says this, and I keep telling you all this week after week. Any man decides to stand on a thing, Stand on a thing until you, you won't have to stand on it long. You're going to receive. You're going to see what you're standing there for. This goes with your home life. This goes with your income. This goes with your marriage. This goes with your physical body. This goes with any area of your life. Find the seed. Faith is the seed. Faith is substance. No, you're not walking around here. I'm just believing God. I'm believing God and don't have no substance. The substance is what? The word of God. So I'm trying to get y'all to see here the importance of the word of God in developing your faith. Oh, there's still mommy. I said, hey, looking for it. I, I, I believe they're coming down for family conference in a few, uh, few weeks. We're going to see them then. Praise God. Faith is what substance. Faith is what the word of God. Everything answers to your what? To the word of God. Heaven and earth pass away, but God's word will stand. So you got to understand the importance of getting the word of God. You've got to understand the importance of getting the word of faith. You got to understand the importance of the word of God. Faith is the word. Number two, write this down. How faith comes. Faith comes by hearing the word of God. So uh, we got to be very conscious, cautious about speaking the word of God, teaching. Preachers preaching the word of God, not our fables, not the problems, not the issues. You know, you, you, we got a good wave coming through here now that all we teach is what people are going through and not give them the answer, give them the solution of how to come out of it. And when you preach that stuff, well, people identify with what they're, what you're saying, what they're going through. So that gives real hype and that gives a whole lot of emotions. But if you don't give them the word of God, the answer of how to come out, then faith doesn't what? Come. Faith will never come if you don't go into the word of God, line upon line, precept upon precept, and teach people, show them the way out, the way over any issue. God is interested, not in you just a three-part, five-part, six-part harmony. And I was thinking about this this morning. I'm going to tell preachers, I got to go preach a... Mm, an installation something uh, later on next month and the Lord already gave me this thing, it starts with you. It starts right here with these preachers. You got to learn how to preach what? The preach faith. There's a whole lot of good, good little topics. You read a, read a billboard on the side of the highway and then come in here and try to preach it. That's cute. That's whatever. But people are not going to grow. People are not going to get this. They're not going to get manifestations out of that. You got to get in this word of God and preach what? Preach the Bible. Preach the word of what? Faith. It's vitally important for people to receive. How was it so easy for those people in Connecticut to receive receive the word of God? Uh, receive the healing. Preach the word of God to them. Show them. God wants you healed. Show them in the scripture. Scriptures upon scriptures. Seed upon seed. Uh, substance upon substance on why. Why it is so important. Why it is your legal right to receive healing in the body. They received it. They act on it. And they were healed. Well, it works with everything else in your life. Amen. God wants you healed. How does faith come? Faith comes by what? Hearing. So we got to hear. We got to hear. We got to hear. I don't 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 preach my problem. Don't walk around talking my problem. Don't get on Facebook and whatever these social medias and, and, and just rehearsing what is going on. Oh, I'm having a bad day. Everybody leave me alone. I'm just not feeling today. I will never ever, ever get on a social media and voice, glory to God, what the enemy, what the devil is doing in my life. No, I'm going to speak to you. I'm going to speak the answer. I'm going to speak God's word. What is faith? Substance. How does faith come? By the word of God. Romans 10, 17, it says faith cometh by what? Hearing and hearing by the, what? the word of God. And not only you just heard the word, you got to keep hearing. Glory to God. I heard something Sunday, but here we are again on Tuesday night, hearing again. And by by Thursday, by Friday, by tomorrow, I, ain't, I can't take a, a day break on this thing. I need to dip down in this word again and get some more faith. That's why. That's how God is meeting all my needs. That's how, glory to God, I, I don't want for anything because of not only 
have heard the word of God, I'm hearing and hearing and hearing. Faith comes by hearing. Faith comes by hearing. And not only you need to hear it from a preacher, you need to hear yourself speak faith. You need to speak faith all day long. You need to be calling things that be not as if they were. I'm healed. Praise God. By his stripes, I am healed. Praise God. I thank you, Lord God. This job is mine. I, I just received, I received six figures in my life. I just received every month, every year. I am making so-and-so stop complaining about what's wrong and get to doing the answer. Now, I keep telling y'all, if you want Kitty the cat, you can't go outside on your porch and be calling Rover the dog. You, you go out there and call Rover, Rover going to show up. And you're sitting up there crazy lying. Well, why Kitty won't come? Kitty know when I call her, she's supposed to come. No, you're not calling Kitty. You're calling Rover. And that's what we're doing in, in, in the kingdom of God. We want healing. We want the blessing of God. We want things to show up in our life. But we keep speaking the negatives. We keep speaking the problem. We keep rehearsing and telling others what's going wrong in my life. I'm telling you, faith, number one, is substance. Then faith comes by what? Hearing. you got to hear yourself speaking the answers of God's word. Get the word of faith and then turn around and speak it. What did you hear Sunday? What are you hearing now? What are you hearing now? Get off these, when this is over, get off these modules and go speak what you've heard. Glory to God. The confession of your lips. Speak the word of faith. I am healed. I am blessed. The blessing of the Lord is mine. Not one time you rehearse what is going on in your life, what is going on wrong in your marriage, what is going wrong and this thing hasn't shown up yet and, and you're trying to get a pity party out of somebody. No, speak the word of God. Just speak it. Praise God. I'm blessed in the city. Blessed. And I'm telling you some people, God, when you speak it, it's like, it's like, it's like putting God's word before him like as a mirror. He cannot see his own word, see him own self, and not respond. You yourself, you look in a mirror and, and you see yourself, oh boy, your hair's I mean it right. Oh, you dress, oh, you you can almost turn yourself on by seeing you. Well, when you speak God's word, you turn him on to be, to do, to perform, to to react to what you're saying. My child is believing me. My child is hearing me. My child is trusting me. I've got to react. My child is depending on me for healing. They're speaking it night and day. They're speaking it 10, 15, 100 times, a 1,000 times a day. By his stripes, I'm healed. Jesus says, I've got to what? Respond to it. I'm telling you all people, God, faith is substance, the word. How do you get faith? Faith comes by what? Hearing. And you got to speak the word of God. I'm free. I'm out of this. I'm out of this debt. This situation is over in my life. Just keep speaking God's word. Just keep speaking God's word. Amen. Faith is what substance. How faith comes. Faith comes by what? Hearing. Not only you hearing me. You need to hear yourself speak some positive things. Speak the answers over your life. Now, how do we release faith? We release faith. With words, with the confession of our mouth, out of a pure conscience. No other issues, no other laws operating in my life. I release faith through words, because I'm telling you, you don't go any higher in your life. You will never see anything higher in your life than the level of your confession. What are you willing to say? What are you willing to say about the situation that you're facing? What's going to be your word response, the word response? Now, I'm telling you, nothing going to change until you change and change and change until you change. And you're going to have to start changing the way you talk about things, the way you see things, the way you respond to things so you can see something what different. It's idiotic, we always say this, it's idiotic to think you're going to see something different doing the same things. Well, if you year after year, ain't nothing changing, ain't nothing moving, ain't nothing growing, ain't nothing maturing in my life, there's nothing coming to pass in my Well, change what you're saying. Change what you're saying. You got to speak the word of God out of a pure conscience. Make sure no other laws are operating your life. Ain't no sin in here. Ain't no, no nothing stopping up the flow of God's blessing in my life. What is faith? Substance. How faith comes? By hearing. 
How do you release faith? You release faith for, vi for visible manifestation by speaking the word of God out of a pure conscience. You find that in 1 Timothy 1 and 19 and 1 Timothy 3 and 9. Holding your faith in a what? Pure what? Conscience. Speaking the word of faith. Romans 4, 17, 18, 19, 20 and on. Calling things that be not as if they what were. Start speaking to your house. Start speaking. Uh, the Lord said to us Sunday. He said, He said, Tell my people to take cover under the blood. Well, 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 you got to start speaking that thing, man. You got to start speaking that thing. You got to start decreeing and declaring that thing. You got to start. I mean, the blood covers my house. I plead the blood and I release the blood over my body, over my children, over my house, over my possessions. Over increase in my life, over the works of my hand. I'm blessing how the favor of God. Amen. That's how that's how you release faith. Then, number four, last thing, let's close. You gotta live by faith. What is faith? Substance, the word, the title deed. How does faith come? That title, how does how does faith come? It's in the book, but you gotta get out of the book and get it in your heart in abundance. Faith comes by what? Hearing. So you gotta speak God's word so you can hear it. What you hear, you turn around and begin to confess it so it can get in your inner ear, so it can get into your heart, the production center, so it can produce the harvest that you're believing. You rehearsing a problem, all you're going to see is the problem. Your children getting on your nerves and all you're saying is, these children getting on my nerves. I can't stand y'all. Y'all driving me crazy. Well, mm -hmm. keep neglecting spiritual things. And you're going to see down the road, you, you're going to find, you're going to get to that destination of what you're saying. So if you walk around for years, decreeing the thing, I just can't make it. I just, things just don't happen in my life. I, think, I tell you, I, I make one step forward and, and look like the devil just come at me hard and I make five steps backward. You keep decreeing that, you keep declaring that, you keep speaking that, that's what you're going to see in your life. Start speaking God's word out of a pure conscience. No other laws operating in my life to stop up what I'm believing. What are you believing? And man, start asking God for some hard things, man. Start believing God for some things that, that that's way out of the box. God is well able to produce. Ephesians 3 and 20. Now unto him that is what able to do exceeding. God's ready. Wanting to do exceeding abundantly above all that you can ask or think according to the power, according to the level of faith that you're willing to release out of your mouth. Heal, cancer, nothing to God. Six figure debts, nothing to God. House, I want this house paid off. Start speaking it, man. You want a house, start speaking it. Land, we're speaking that thing. And we're seeing the manifestation of that thing. Praise God. Amen. So now, what are you saying? What are you saying, Pastor? This is the way we live. This is the way we live. Number four. This is the way we live by faith. Now, 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 those that are part of our ministry members, I expect, I ain't, this ain't good just teaching. I expect you to live like this. I expect you to live by faith. I stand up and say, okay, we need to raise, we need to receive $20,000, a hundred thousand. Well, we got this land over here. These people won't sell us this land. We need 50000 I want you to operate by, how you going to get it? I don't know how you going to get it, Pastor. <laughs> we be, no, I want you to operate by faith. If God said it, then hey, let's, in Jesus' name, give us the wisdom, all knowledge. Lord, release it and we receive it by faith. You got somebody somewhere in the world that can, that will that we will bump into right now that's going to release that funds. Just walk operating by what faith? I don't want you walking, walking around sick. No, that's not God's will for you. That's not God's will for you to walk around confused when you have the faith to answer every issue in your life. Now, you're going to have to do this. You're going to have to live by faith. How do you live by faith? Let's close. How do you live by faith? You live by faith by, number one, meditating the word of God. Joshua 1 and 8. Therein you shall meditate and observe to do all that is written in this book. So then you will, you will have good success. You will prosper. You will prosper in all your ways. And you will have what? Good success. It comes through meditating. Get a scripture. Get one scripture, peace in your house, power, 
spiritual life. Get one scripture, get the seed, and then meditate that thing. Father, this is what your word says. Meditate means to turn it over and over and over and over and over and over. Ponder that word. Quietly speak that thing into your spirit. Meditate the word of God. See yourself in that thing. See yourself in that house. See yourself with that. See yourself married. See yourself. You got to see. You got to start seeing that. You, uh, Genesis 13 and 15, as far as their eyes can see, I'll give you the land. You got to see it. It comes through meditating. I always teach this. Meditation is the prerequisite for prayer. And I'm saying you're praying if you can't see yourself with, 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 with the thing that you're praying for. If you, if you can't see yourself with it, why is he going to give it to you? You don't even believe it yourself. You got preachers, you got pastors, you got bishops, apostles that don't that preach this word, but they really don't even believe it. That's why they can't get healed. That's why <laughs> that's why they don't see, see it happening in, in, in their ministry. They don't believe it themselves. We preach a hard message and then go out, go out there and talking about your arthritis and talking about your 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 diabetes and talking about this and talking about uh, uh that's why I'm a church and, and why my church ain't growing and this and that. No, no, because you don't even believe it yourself. How do you get to the place of believing? Meditating. I see myself blessed. I see myself prosperous. I see myself the head and not the I see myself debt free. Meditating the word. How do you live by faith? Meditating the word of God. You got to see whatever you're believing for. Here's the book. You got to see yourself with it. Number two, you got to practice this word. Practice the word is corresponding action. If you believe God for healing, stop acting like you're sick. Get up. Where you were limping around, where you were scourging around, command your body to respond to your spirit. Command it. Now, in the name of Jesus, by his stripes I'm healed. I am not, no, you're not limping today. You're not dragging today. In Jesus' name, I speak to these limbs. I speak to these arteries. I speak to my life. I, I'm not afraid to spend a dime. In the name of Jesus, I'm going out here and believe I'm going to do whatever I want to do. I'm going to get whatever I want to get. Praise God. Corresponding actions. You got to step out on what you believe. Are y'all hearing me? How do we live? By what faith? Meditating the word of God. Number two, practicing the word of God. Corresponding actions. Once you believe, once hands has been laid upon you, once we pray, now you got to act like you have. Start acting like, start living in that land. Praise God. Let the weak say I'm strong. So start acting like you're strength, strengthened. Amen. You're healed. Well, start. Don't pamper that thing no more. Walk like it. Act like it. Praise God. And I'm telling you, it'll drop off your life like wildfire. Number three, how do we live by faith? By giving the word first place in our lives. Issues come up in your life. What is the first response? What do you think first? What, what is the first word that comes out of your mouth? Letting the word of God become your first. Letting the word of God become first place in our lives. Nothing doubting, nothing fearing. The word of God has first place in my life. Meditating on the word of God. Attending to the word of God. Allowing it to have first place in my life. Oh, a big issue just came up. Oh, a tragic issue. That, what's the first thing that should come out of your mouth? The word. That's why y'all study the word. That's why y'all get in the word more. Uh, some of my... I'm going to release this um, and, I'll, and I'll finish here. Um, I was in Connecticut last week and a preacher was kept going on about uh, telling us about this um, gorilla dance, this gorilla praise dance. So I, I was really curious. I went on YouTube and I had to find that gorilla dance. Y'all y'all, go Google it, Google it on, uh, on YouTube when you get off here. The gorilla dance. The gorilla is is dancing to uh, this um, to the praise break music. He's dancing. He he's dancing. He's dancing to the praise break music. And boy, he's dancing. He's spinning around and he's dancing. He's dancing. He's dancing. And when the music goes off, he walks back. He walks back into his cage like nothing ever happened. And they were talking about this thing, but I watched it and I said, "Dang, that's just like church." 
we dance, we come to church, we have a praise break, we get a good feeling, we get a good speaking in tongues, and da 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 And when the music stops, we go right back into our cages. We've got to see some evidence on this thing, man. We got to we got to come to a place where our life of faith becomes absolute in our lives. Once I say I believe something, no, I don't let my mind talk me out of it. I don't let my mind, I don't let my feelings interrupt what I believe. Once I believe, that's settled. It's done. I've got the substance on that thing. You can't talk me out of it. It's done. Praise God. I, I enter into what Brother Warren was talking, teaching on Sunday, powerful last lesson uh, Sunday Sunday afternoon about entering into that rest. And you don't worry about it. You don't, no, I don't even allow that to go over my thought thinking anymore because I'm learning how to walk by what faith. Faith is what substance. How do we get faith? Faith comes by hearing. How? What do we do with the faith once we get it? Release it by speaking out of a pure conscience. You can turn, you can change anything in your life by operating by these principles I'm talking about here tonight. And then you live by faith. You start living by faith, meditating the word of God. Practicing the word of God. Giving the word of God first place in my life. Issues come up, what's the first thing? What is the first thing? I get my paycheck, what is the first thing I do? Get that tithe out. Practicing the word of God. Do taking responsibility of doing what I'm supposed to do so I can see the manifestations in my life. And fourth, how do you live by faith? Instantly obeying the voice of the Spirit. Instantly obeying the voice of the Spirit. God speaks to your heart. You get a knowing on the inside. God tells you to do something. Instantly do it. Don't delay. Don't put it off. Instantly obey God. God says, sow something, sow it. God said, go somewhere, go, go then, because I got everything set up for you right then. We delay and we wait two, three days later, and then we go and we're looking crazy like ain't nothing happened because God had it for you, you know, <laughs> two days ago. God had it for you two years ago, two months ago. Instantly obey the voice of the Holy Spirit. Live by faith. God has a way of getting you out right now. God has a way of changing your levels supernaturally right now. You've got to operate by faith. you got to begin to meditate the word of God. you got to see yourself in that thing. you got to practice what the word of God. you got to give the word of God first place in your life. And then you got to learn to obey instantly, immediately, instantly obey the voice of the Holy Spirit. Sometimes the Holy Spirit tells you not to do things. Stop. Don't do it. Instantly. He convicts you about something. Holy Spirit convicting you about something. Talking to you about something. Get this out of your life. Get that out of your life. Instantly obey. No, we're talking about I got, I'm going to be working on that. I ain't there yet. I'm trying to get there. No, man, you done lost faith, man. You're not in faith. Get in faith. I'm telling y'all, religion gives you excuses for not doing what you're supposed to do. Get on, get on the level of faith. No man. The first scripture we read, Hebrews 11 and 6. He that cometh to God must believe that he is and must believe that he is a rewarder of them that diligently what? Seek him. So as you diligently go after God, as you diligently do the things of God, obey the promptings in your spirit, you'll see answers in your life. Let's pray. Father, I thank you most, most high. I give you praise, glory, and honor for what we have received here tonight. Walking, living by Faith. I thank you, Lord God, that you've given us the substance of faith, your word. I thank you with this word, we can, this word comes by hearing and hearing by this word. And we take this word and we release it in faith with our confessions, the word of our lips out of a pure conscience. And then, Father, we begin to live this word, meditating this word practicing this word, making this word first and final authority in our lives. And I thank you, Lord God, in Jesus' name, that we obey the promptings of our spirit. Whatever you tell us to do, we just do it without hesitation. That brings mighty results, mighty manifestations in our lives. 
you're doing it in my life. I'm seeing so many miracles, so many blessings, so many open doors by operating this life. And you've caused me to release this, these keys to your people. Let us not just hear it, but let us operate by it. And let us see, see the blessing of God, divine health, divine prosperity, divine opening of doors, hitch free living, hitch free marriages, hitch free friendships in Jesus name by simply living by this word in Jesus name. Amen. Praise God. I pray you've been blessed by that. Praise God. Now I release, I release the blessing. Lift your hands. I release the blessing of God on your life. Everyone that is sick, any, any physical ailments anywhere on your life, on your bodies, anywhere in the name of Jesus, I command you now to be healed. Satan, we don't beg you nor plead with you. We command you by the power of God to leave these peoples, leave them, leave their bodies, leave them alone. Be healed now. Now what God can do anywhere, he can do it right now. Stretch your hands toward Get on, get on Facebook, get on the Periscope, get on your keypads and just, just begin to type. I receive, Pastor, I receive, I receive my healing. I receive in Jesus' name. It belongs to you. That's God's will for you. And I speak it. I don't beg. I ain't got to take out a long time. You just receive that healing in Jesus' name and begin to operate by this thing. Amen. Begin to operate by it in Jesus' name. Praise God. Be blessed of God. Praise God. That's a good session tonight. Walking, operating by faith. Go back and rewind it and listen to it again. Listen to this again. Build your faith, man. Starve your doubts. You don't get nothing by this shouting, screaming, hollering. No, you get it by hearing the word. Faith comes by hearing. So demand. Ears, you got to hear. And then life, you got to live what you're hearing. Rewind this, rewind this thing, man. Go back and listen to it again. It'll be up on the wall. It'll be on Periscope for 24 hours. We'll, we'll upload it to uh, our website. Go to michaelbrownministries.org. Listen to it again over and over and over again. And I'm going to invite you to come to one of our live services. This ain't nothing. Um, this is just tip tap here. You need to be in one of the live services. You're anywhere in Charlotte, Myrtle Beach, Charleston. Get to service. Get to the live service where the power of God is moving and you can experience this thing live. I'm telling you, it is an experience. One service will change your entire life. Amen. All of our members, get your credit cards out, your debit cards out. Go ahead and sow your seeds, your tithing tonight. Just hit that button on our wall on Facebook or go to the website. Most of us have it download, downloaded already on our uh, cell phones. We got that Givelify uh, emblem on our, just hit it. And it'll talk you through, it'll lead you through it. Sow your seeds, sow into what you believe you receive. There's one of my uh, Connecticut friends, Shanti, praise God. Uh, Jennings, the uh, singing girl. That girl, that girl did some singing last week. Blessed us, praise and worship, awesome, off the chain. Tell uh, Bishop Gallagher, Gallagher and Pastor Gallagher, I said hello, uh, enjoyed ourselves last week. We're looking forward to getting back there to uh, Middletown, uh, Connecticut, real soon, real soon. Praise God. God bless you all. God bless everyone. Walk by faith, live this thing, live it. Sunday morning, everybody. Get a soul. Find someone. Bring them to church so they can hear what you're hearing. Be blessed of God. And remember always, John 6 and 63, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Be blessed until next week.